Hi friends, welcome to our today's session on publishing asset to the AnyPoint Exchange part 5. So guys, as you know in previous session we have learned about how to design the API specification in Design Center. We have finished completing that part. So the next step is to publish that same API specification which we have designed in the AnyPoint uh, Design Center to the AnyPoint Exchange. But because before directly going to publish it into the AnyPoint Exchange, first we will understand what is Exchange, okay? What is the use of that? And then we will go to the AnyPoint platform and do some more POCs. So guys, let's understand what is AnyPoint Exchange. Okay guys, so from the definition it is written, MuleSoft's AnyPoint Exchange is a central repository where you can find a variety of built-in connectors, assets and templates. You can also put your own libraries, assets and other materials there. The ability to save and manage several iterations of the same asset library templates is a strong suit of AnyPoint Exchange. Or guys, in other words, AnyPoint Exchange is very much uh, capable of storing and maintaining multiple version of same assets, libraries, templates, utilities. Okay. So let's jump on to the AnyPoint platform and let's publish whatever API specification we have designed in the design center to the AnyPoint exchange and let's explore the AnyPoint exchange part. Okay. So without wasting time, let's jump on that. So guys, we are in AnyPoint platform now. So you can see this organization name I have, EBC. Okay. And and this is a username okay who is registered with this organization so this is just a test anypoint platform account i have created just to make uh, uh, to have some familiarity with the anypoint platform so guys uh, let's go to the design center so this is the design center so guys as you know uh, in previous part which is part 4 we have finished completing the api specification in the design center so we created a uh, multiple endpoints having different methods okay so let me show you okay guys so in the documentation section you can see we have uh, these uh, different endpoints having different methods okay and this is the api title version description of the api okay and supported protocols okay guys so now we are going to publish this same API specification to the AnyPoint Exchange. Okay, guys. So how we can do that? You need to click on this publish button. Okay, let's wait. Okay, so because it's a newly created AnyPoint API platform or design center API specification, so the version is 1.0.0, and API version is v1. Okay, guys. So for more details, you can see here. This is the business group ID on which I am working presently. Okay, so this is the asset ID. Asset ID ID is nothing but whatever API specification name you have given. That's the same thing. Okay, asset name, same thing. So let's click on this button and publish it to the exchange, guys. So I have clicked on it. guys it has been successfully published to the exchange okay so let's close it and uh, let's go to the AnyPoint exchange so if you click on here you can see one option called as exchange so if you click on this you will be redirected to AnyPoint exchange and guys you, clearly you can see your uh, asset has been successfully published to the exchange so ABC asset means uh, so this is the organization name so organization name and then assets so abc assets okay so in this organizations what and all assets we have published it will be visible here in the exchange okay so this was the asset or api specification which we have designed previously in the design center okay and if you click on here these are the all the assets which are provided by mulesoft so you can see different uh, uh, connectors okay for different purposes we have salesforce connector we have Safana, Amazon S3, so different type of connectors we have to integrate one application with another application. 
okay so these are all provided by mulesoft so it's shared with me so i don't have any assets or uh, shared presently so it's not showing any any assets okay so no applications as of now okay so this are this is the only asset i have presently so if i click on this okay guys so you can see a username and then uh, when the asset has been published so that detail is published here is visible here so this is a rest api okay that's correct organization name and updated one minute ago and this is the api specification name so guys uh, let's explore these different options okay so let's say if you want to see what an all version of uh, uh, asset uh, has been published recently so you can uh, just click on this and you will uh, get the entire history of uh, what an all version of applications or assets has been published previously so here you can see all the history of that okay life cycle state so all that things will be here so if you click on here here also you will get the uh, details of all the versions okay so and also like if you want to uh, share it with someone okay with any specific person then you can also add uh, that uh, person so if you want to share it within the organization that also you can do if you want to publish it to the public portal so that it will be publicly visible so anyone publicly can use your api okay so that also you can do guys so presently it's a private one so outside of this organization abc no one will be able to access this until you will change this uh, status of this asset to public public okay so let's see what if we will convert it to the public one so i have selected v1 okay because this is a version of this app which we are going to change it to the public okay so it will be publicly visible guys okay so if i click on save okay so now to see whether it is publicly visible or not you have to go to the asset lists okay and you just have to click on public portal so guys you can see your asset has been publicly visible now okay so this is your developer portal what and all assets you have uh, uh, change access to the public one so all those assets you can see here okay so we have uh, changed the status of our app to asset to a public one so you can see our asset now in the developer portal so you can also customize your developer portal as well as well so if you click on this customize so different things you can do so this is a dynamic page okay you can uh, edit this page dynamically one and all uh, text is written okay if you want to change the logo here that also you can do so presently this is the logo i have added so you if you uh, choose a, a different jpg image file so it will upload it here dynamically so you will get the logo of your organization here dynamically guys and you also if you want to change the text here so let's say if i will i want to write niche so guys you can see it has been dynamically populated here okay similarly here whatever changes you will do it will reflect here you can see so this is a totally dynamic page okay so you you can also add new pages okay okay so it's a very a dynamic page okay you can do a lot of things in that in this developer portal okay so i have a click i will click on done editing yes publish save my changes okay so it is it has saved so i i can see my name here okay and this is the asset which we have made to public okay which we have shared with the uh, public okay so public level access we have given to this asset basically so now it is visible uh, publicly okay so anyone outside from outside can access this asset they can download it and they can use it so to download it you can also explore this option so you can also download download this asset as a raml as oas as a connector as a mule4 connector so we have a lot of options 
so if you want to download it as raml okay so you can see our uh, this uh, asset has been downloaded as a raml so if i go to my downloads so guys you can see so if i copy it go to some uh, dedicated folder let me create one folder here let's say abc so if i paste it here extract it here so you can see all the files as are visible now so this is our root file this is our exchange.json file where all the information about the asset is there that what is the name of this asset okay what is the version of this asset what is the organization id okay what is the commit id branch id all that things are visible here okay resource types types libraries what and all libraries we have created okay so all are visible user library is there error library health check library okay and in the example we have different examples so one folder is error example and another one is use case example so all the use case examples are there you can see visi are visible here okay so that's how you can download it as a raml so let's say if you want to download it as a os okay that also you can do guys so it has been downloaded as a os version now so let me open it for you let me copy it okay let me create one another folder let's say a b c d okay let me paste it and if you extract it here so you can see an OAS version has been uh, extracted okay so if you click on this API you can see all the code written in an OAS form okay so you can see health check endpoint is there okay media type is there but in some different format it is written now it's not in RAML it's in OAS okay so you guys you have uh, like different options in which form you want to download this asset so that's your choice okay or whosoever wants to consume this asset they have option to download it in multiple ways they want to download they can download it as a raml os connector mule for connector okay so okay and in api instances part you can see the version of this asset also and all the history related to it so if we go back to the asset list guys okay so here is our exchange so that uh, was all uh, basics about this uh, any point exchange guys okay okay so this was our published asset okay so i hope you understood everything about uh, how we can publish our asset to the any point exchange guys okay what is the use of that developer portal okay how you can share with your this this asset with the public okay how you can change the access level to the public that also i have showed you okay so guys uh, i hope you understood everything what we have learned in this session okay so in upcoming videos we will also learn whatever asset we have published to the any point exchange how we can import that asset in the any point studio and start implementing the code okay and after uh, implementing the code how we can deploy that same application to the runtime manager so that part guys we will uh, cover in the upcoming videos okay so thanks everyone guys thanks for watching this session see you soon uh, bye mm -hmm.